Hello everyone, welcome to my review show. So I'm heading now to Tim Hortons because they now have a harvest breakfast sandwich or a wrap. Um, so it's plant-based, uh, the sausage, I believe, and with egg and uh, whatever, I don't know. Well, I saw it advertised and I thought, hey, this would uh, be a good thing to try out and review. So uh, let's go. Good morning, Tim Hudson. Hi, can I get that uh, Harvest Breakfast sandwich? Sure, sir. Would you like that on English muffin or a biscuit? Uh, let's do it on the biscuit. Do you have that Easter cookie? Yes, we do. You add one of those? Mm-hmm. So I just noticed that um, Tim Hortons has a Easter cookie. I believe that's new. I've had the Easter donut before. I did a review on that, I think, last year. Um, but uh, they have an Easter cookie. I don't know if it's uh, they've had it before, um, but I've never had it, never seen it before. So we're going to add it to this uh, this video. All right? Okay. We've got a bit of a wait. It's going to be worth it, I hope. There you go. Thank have you. Have a good day. You too. All right, we got our stash. Now, let's head home and have some breakfast and a cookie. And we are back at home and we've got our harvest breakfast sandwich. Um, so it's plant-based sausage um, on a biscuit. So you can also get it on an English muffin or in a wrap. Uh, I prefer the uh, um, biscuit. So we got um, egg and cheese and then this is what we're all talking about here on this review really. It's not a sausage patty, it's a um, plant-based patty that's supposed to take taste somewhat like sausage I guess. Well we're gonna find out. So I got the meal. So I did get a I got the wrong drink. They have a new uh, hot beverage. I got the cinnamon oat latte, which I did a review on before. Hopefully I'll remember to put the link in below. Um, I was hoping to get the new one, which I found out was the roasted hazelnut uh, latte. Uh, so I'll have to do that another time maybe and do a review on that. But they did, I did see they had a, like a mini egg cookie, Easter cookie already out. And uh, never had that before, so I'm going to give that a try after. Um, and I got uh, the meal, of course, so I got the hash browns. And um, look how greasy this bag is. You know it's good when it's really greasy. Yep. Okay. So let's give this a try. The Harvest Breakfast Sandwich, now new at Tim Hortons. So you wouldn't even know by looking at it that it's a plant-based sausage. It does have a little bit of a spice in it. Not like spicy, but flavor spice. It's not terrible. Give it another try. It's quite dry. I usually actually like to put maybe some mayo on it or a ketchup because uh, when it's just the regular sausage patty or I usually I get the bacon. I prefer the bacon. Uh, it's a little dry, especially on the biscuit. But this uh, plant-based sausage is very dry. I'm just doing a review. I would choose probably the other one, or like I say, the bacon over the sausage. But again, it's not terrible. I'm not hating it. But if you eat them side by side, you would be able to tell the difference. 
So I'm going to give this Harvest Breakfast Sandwich of Tim Hortons. I'm going to give it about a, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. Cleanse the palate, and then I'll try this uh, Easter mini egg cookie. Okay, so here we go. We got uh, a cookie. I don't know if I've ever had a cookie from Tim Hortons, actually. It's a pretty good size. And it's got uh, mini eggs. And um, yeah, I think that's all that's in it. It doesn't look like there's chocolate chips in it. I don't think. I think it's just uh, crushed up mini eggs. Let's give it a try. Nice and crunchy on the outside, soft in the inside. And if you like mini eggs, chocolates, you're going to love this cookie. Very sugary. Uh, probably give this a good uh, 7.5 out of 10. They also have the donut out as well. And I did, the, of course, the review on that before, and it's, it's quite good. So, yeah, uh, the Harvest Breakfast Sandwich at uh, Tim Hortons. Um, it's okay, uh, but it's not terrible. All right, so that's it for this review. Please like, subscribe, and uh, share. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully uh, possibly do a review on the hazelnut latte at some point. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below if you tried any of these and what you thought. All right, that's it for this review. Check it out on the next one. Bye-bye.